Hi everyone, this is Miss Christy from East Pensboro Library, and tonight I want to share with you something called Lego stamping. If you look down at our title page here, Lego stamping is something that you can make many different designs doing. But stamp pads are really expensive, so I decided that I was going to make some homemade stamp pads before we went ahead and started our Lego stamping. So let me share with you what the materials are that you're going to need to do Lego stamping. And then I'm going to show you how to make a homemade stamp pad. And then I'll do a little bit of Lego stamping with you and show you some Lego stamping that I did to get ready. Right back here, we've got some Lego stamping on the wall. And we'll get started now. So what are you going to need? Well, the supplies that you're going to need for Lego stamping are Legos of different shapes and sizes, paper, acrylic craft paint, and it's important that it's acrylic because this is what we're going to use to make our homemade stamp pads. Double scrub sponges, small containers with lids, scissors, cotton swabs, and crayons or markers or colored pencils if you want to fill in what you have made. And if we look down, here's another design on our page that has some different things that somebody has used to do this. So let's take a look at how to make these homemade stamp pads. First thing that you're going to need is a container, and I got my containers at the Dollar Tree, actually. They have a lid on. It's really important that you use a container that has a lid, because we want to make sure that our paint and our ink pad does not dry out at all. So, we also are going to need a sponge and if you notice my sponge doesn't have any of that scrubby stuff one that you use when you scrub pans it's really important that the sponge is very porous so that it keeps a hold of the ink and the, pa the paint that we're going to use to turn into the ink so the first thing that we want to do is cut the sponge to fit the container in order to do that i'm going to Go ahead and just trace around the container. There's only going to be a little tiny bit, probably, that I need to cut off. And I'm going to use a marker to do that. I like to save as much as I can. I'm just going to take my marker. Let me let you see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to draw just around my container like that because we want to make sure that the sponge fits inside the container pretty nicely. So I've got my sponge and I traced the container and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut on my lines here. And then I've got a little extra sponge in case I need it just fit my sponge right into the container. See there, I might need a little extra right there, so I can just fill that right in so that the sponge is very tight in the container. I hope everybody can see that. So the next step is to take my acrylic paint. Let me show you the next step here take my acrylic paint, whatever color I choose, and I'm going to coat the sponge very generously with it. And I decided that I was going to use lavender today because I'm going to make a peace sign, but I already did a lavender one. So we want to coat this very, very, very generously. And then we're going to use a cotton swab 
and we're going to make sure that there's no bubbles in it. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the share on that. You can go back and look at that, but I want you to watch what I'm going to do here. So I've got my sponge. I'm going to just kind of shake my paint up, put a whole bunch on here like that. And then what I, what I do, see, because it's kind of gobby, so I'll take a cotton swab and rub it all over the sponge. So that it leaks in to all of the holes in the sponge. Let me make sure you can see this. So I've got my purple paint and I've got it real generous. And I'm putting it all over with my cotton swab. Any extra I can just get through. Now, what I'm going to do is for this ink pad with this purple. I'm going to let me make sure I get my cotton swab in the garbage can so I don't make a mess. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. I'm going to let it sit for about an hour or two hours. And then I'm going to go back and use it because it needs a little bit of time so that it can set and all of the ink or the paint that you're going to use for the ink can set into the container. So we're going to put that one to the side. And since working with paint's a little messy, I sort of cleaned up quick. I had already made a purple ink pad earlier today so that I could make sure to use this for my demonstration for you on how to do the Lego stamping. I also have a green one that I made. And I've got a blue one that I made. And if you notice, they seem like they might be a little bit dried out. They really aren't. It takes a very long time for paint to sink in and to get real porous. For me tonight, I'm going to use my purple here. And I'm going to do a peace sign on a piece of paper with my Legos. So I'm going to wipe my fingers off here. And we're going to get a piece of paper. And I selected straight Legos like this. And then I added two, one to the back, so that I could use those kind of as my stamp holder. And I'm going to make a peace sign sort of like the one I have beside me, behind me, but in purple this time. And you can do any kind of design you want. And I'll show you a couple of examples of different designs when we're done. So let's look at what I'm doing down here. I'm gonna very carefully and gently just put it on a little bit. And if you look, you don't press too hard. Sometimes it takes a little bit, you can see your ink on there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my circle for my peace sign. Of course it's not going to be a straight complete circle. That's okay. And I'm going to keep going here. You don't want to push too hard because you don't want it to get too gobby. And remember that each individual thing is very unique person who's making it. So it doesn't really matter if it's a complete circle or not because it's about the designer and the creativity. But I don't want to press too too hard or I'll mess up my ink pad. All right so I've got my circle for my piece sign and now I'm just going to very very easy take and do down center one line that goes in the middle and then one out like this and one out like this and now I made a piece of using Legos and a stamp pad.
Now, there's a couple different things that I could do when this dries, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to take down this one that I already did, and I'm going to hang this one up to dry. I hope I don't get it in my hair. And there's some different things that I can do now that I have one that's completely dry. I could take some markers and I could color in some areas in between like this, right? Fancy it up a little bit, kind of in between the lines. Make it creative like this. Maybe I might want to color in some of the circle a little bit. I kind of like to do crazy stuff like this. But you can still see that it's been done with Legos. And then I just kind of filled it in. And when you're doing it, you might want to get more detailed and fill it in. Maybe draw some things in it and put some stickers in. A couple things you need to remember with stamp pads. If your ink pad seems like it might be uh, getting dry, Easy solution, a couple little sprays of water, a little bit of a rub with the cotton swab and you'll be good to go. Easiest way to clean your Legos when you're done. I just have a little bit, a little container here with a little bit of soapy water in that's flat. And I just lay them in here for a little bit and let them soak. And then I'll get them out and dry them off real good and make sure that all the paint's off. Let me show you some of the other things that you can do with these Legos and stamping. Thank you so much for joining me for Lego stamping. And I hope to get to see you again really soon. Have a great night.